The Order of St. John was founded to serve the sick and those in need, whether in war or peacetime, in ordinary and extraordinary places and times, and they have fulfilled that commitment to service for almost a thousand years. The Order now spans the world, a world of contrasts and conflicts, a world of affluence and deprivation. But the needs of people remain the same. They want comfort when they are sick, care when they are in need, and protection as they go about their daily lives. And that's what the Order of St. John provides, staying true to the original vision of Brother Gerard nearly a thousand years ago. The Order's symbol, which is also the sign of St. John Ambulance, is one that denotes comfort and care and is recognized around the world. In Britain, St. John is the leading provider of first aid training, and you'll see volunteers at almost every public event you can think of. Volunteer members work in 42 countries and have over 300,000 members, all serving the public wherever and whoever they are. And most of them are young. From five years old to 21, badgers to cadets and lynx, they work with older members to make a difference to people's lives, saving them, making them better. Wherever you go, you'll find the Order of St. John. You'll see that symbol. In Hong Kong, in Canada, where they use therapy dogs. In Malaysia, where they run a hemodialysis service. In Papua New Guinea, where they enable blood transfusions. In South Africa, where they run a large health centre and provide home-based care. In Malawi, where they run a primary care clinic. In New Zealand. The list is long and impressive. Wherever the order operates, it adapts its services to meet local needs, be it for AIDS patients in Africa or first aid training in England. It provides care and, most importantly, knowledge, so people can help themselves. They can avoid disease or injury, or, when it occurs, treat it safely. The order's volunteers enrich their own lives, learn skills and build confidence so that they can make a big contribution to their families, friends and societies, wherever they are.